construction trades I like doing hands-on and stuff like that and I'm a hands-on type of guy and I like construction so I might take a job in construction or welding. The construction trades class is a modular system. We spend 10 days at one of 22 different categories. Uh, those range from plumbing to drywall to painting, electrical, uh, one of our newer ones is green technology, so solar panels, uh, hot water heaters that run off geothermal, all the way up to concrete and masonry work. Um, I like it because it's a challenge. Also because I'm a girl, so like construction, like you don't like rarely see females like doing construction. And like me, I'm different like from other people, so I just thought it'd be different and difficult for me, and I like challenges. The construction trades course is not meant to be like a, okay, now you can go build your own house. This is as a uh, exploratory type of class where you can go through, get an idea, do I like this, do I like this, okay, I don't like the concrete because I don't like all the dust, I don't like getting my hands dirty, I don't like drywall for the same reason, but I do enjoy painting or I do enjoy plumbing. It's really a taste. It's a way for you to experience a lot of different things. And it's kind of not like you're like doing it like by yourself. You have like a video to go off of, like step by step. So if you do something wrong, you can like rewind the video and it tells you like what you did wrong and like where you went wrong so you can just like reconstruct it back together. The other nice thing is it gives you an opportunity to leave your home school to do a class where you spend two class periods doing hands-on work almost the entire time. The skills that you take away is invaluable. To be able to go through and change you know, a faucet if you're having uh, an issue with it, instead of having to call that plumber to do that work, you're gonna be able to save yourself a lot of money by doing that on your own. Same with if you have an outlet that shorts out or you have to replace a circuit breaker. To be able to do that on your own versus having to call somebody is gonna save you money in the long run. For construction trades, the students that I'm looking for, they need to be driven, meaning they don't want to come in here and just sit around and not do anything. You need to have that motor to be able to push yourself to try to get the work done. You need to be able to be self-efficient. You need to be able to, to manage your time to make sure that you're getting your work done. Um, definitely a hard worker. I look at, on a daily basis, how well do you work with your partner? How well do you work individually? How well did you do the actual activity? Well, when we do need his help, really, he, you know, come over to us and help us out. Yeah. But he really likes to, like, have us, like, do it ourselves. But if we really need help, then he'll come over and help us. Or he'll be like, um, that's what you have a partner for. Like, ask your partner before you ask me. So, like, we can still, like, have that student-student connection instead of always student-teacher. Like, teacher, come here, teacher, come here. Like, you can be helping yourself. And somebody that works with your hands is another big plus. Uh, if you're afraid to get your hands dirty, might be a little bit of an issue. If you don't like hands-on, you shouldn't do this class because basically that's all it is. Yeah. It's hands-on and do hard work and labor. Yeah, because you do get dirty. Yeah, I know from experience, yeah. <laughs>